What's up guys, Brian here and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to do one of my favorite transitions. It's called the pullback reveal effect and I'll teach you how to do it in Final Cut Pro X. If you want more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe buttons down there below so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Let's get started. The pullback reveal transition effect is something that I've been playing around with for a while now. I introduced it in my Vegas videos last year and I've used it in multiple cinematic videos. Remember, just because you can do this transition doesn't mean it's going to come out awesome. You have to make sure that your two clips mesh well together. Let's start with shooting the pullback shot. What you want to do is find objects or things that will cover either the left and right side of the screen or the top and bottom as it comes into frame. A good example would be this shot here that I got in California. It starts off with a shot of the highway, then as I pull back, the railing starts to come into frame, also revealing my subject in the shot. Now the fun part is putting it together in Final Cut Pro. And remember, to get creative with the type of objects that you pull back from. Alright, now that we have all our shots, let's load up Final Cut Pro and let's get started. Once your project is ready to go, you're going to select your beginning clip. Try to select one that is visually appealing though. This will be the clip that fades away after the reveal clip comes in. I will choose this one here of the American flag as an example. I will also slow it down to give it a cinematic look. Next, you need to select your pullback reveal clip to create the transition with. Let's use the same clip I was showing you earlier as an example. Now add the draw mask tool to the pullback clip and add the keyframes. Click on invert mask, add some feathering, add a keyframe to that, add keyframes to transforms and control points. Now look for the frame in the clip where the railing starts to appear. Let's uncheck draw mask for now and find that spot. Here it is for this clip. Now turn draw mask back on, move the keyframe so that it starts to reveal the object from the next clip. Press the right arrow key on your keyboard to move to the next frame. Then adjust the keyframes over to follow the movement of the object being revealed. Continue to do this until you get to the end of your reveal clip or to the spot where you want to fully show the revealing clip. Now find a place where you want the first clip to start to transition out. Cut that spot with the blade tool by pressing B on your keyboard. Shorten the bottom clip to match the top one. Now copy the clip you just cut off and paste it right below. Go to your transitions tab and find an effect that you want to use to transition out the first clip. I suggest flow, flashback, or even cross dissolve. Now drag that transition over to the bottom two clips. Adjust the length of the transition to whatever you want. The longer it is, the smoother the transition. Delete the draw mask tool adjustments that were made on the bottom right clip that you're transitioning to. I found awesome glitch transitions from this user named Ryan Nangle. He has a ton of crazy effects and tutorials as well. Make sure to check him out to find some cool goodies. The masking tool is a very powerful tool once you get familiar and master it. I use it in almost all my videos. Like I always mention, get creative with it. Try out new ways on how you can use the masking tool in combination with other effects that you have. And you are done. Check out this tutorial on how to use the masking tool with this elevator clip. 